Well, hello everyone, welcome back to some more U4. Let's go ahead and get that military tech, shall we? Uh, wait until January. That's what we'll do. We'll wait until January, just in case. Well, we lost Arcas's belly against Yarkin. That's kind of weird. Yay! Wave of devotion. Okay, what's up? Through Shenyang. Heh. <laughs> ah, uh, no. Probably not gonna go for Shenyang there. Or Ningxia. I think we're good. Uh, both of those are Ming, as I'm sure. And Incorporate Calm. Probably the easiest thing to do is Incorporate Calm. Must be the same religious group. Oh, maybe that's why we couldn't force religion last episode. Huh. I don't think we're going to take any of those right now. I think we're going to pass. Let's take, let's take Setson. Get rid of that. Alright. Oh, man, the Inquisitor died. Well, that's bad. I guess I'm glad we took Setson instead of one of the other ones that we might not be able to do now. Alright, well, saves us money. Boy, how did we need money? Ming! Your ways are disgusting. I do that because that actually gives us extra prestige. And trade power, but mostly for the prestige. Just a little bit more. Uh, e hude. Where is that, anyways? Literally our capital. Tribe Estates was 10 influence for quite a while. 15 years, I think that was. Still, influence is just fine, so 15%, so I guess it's fine with me. They're very loyal. And they have 40%. Wow, they actually flipped. I was not expecting them to, to pop. That's annoying more than anything. It's annoying, really. But we'll take care of them. Not a big deal. Whatever. We have manpower to burn. Just need a little bit more. Oh, uh, hmm. NYI. You. Literally does not matter. Literally does not matter. Uh, well, let's do, I guess, probably manpower. best thing we can do right now is the manpower. Hey, look, they've taken attrition. They're at 9.9. We're at a solid 21. Works out for us. Ha <laughs> ha! Get dunked, tribes. Get dunked. I'm not worried about our Casas belly against Chagatai. Alright, split in half. Someone go to Chengdi. And then the other one, go to, sure, Adin, why not? Because Jidim's fine. Jidim is just peachy keen, so I'm not worried about him. Let's get someone more out here so we get a little bit more military strength, that'd be nice. Oh, who's Multan? No, I oh wait, no, they're these guys. Okay, I don't care. Military power would be nice, but we're gonna take the mercantilism because that's tough to come by. Karkanulu has a civil war. Fantastical. Love it. Kidinga. Go for it. Okay, so. We're so close 
to getting national ideas. Because we finally have stopped screwing ourselves. We're so close. Boy, Haishi's really happy about us. They're like genuinely pleased. That's impressive. And it looks like events and province defections are just kind of ticking down over time and comms. So that's huge. It's exactly what we need. Alright, wait for January. The reason why I wait for January is uh, as the next month, next year ticks over, uh, there's a chance of getting the behind the times or ahead of times. I don't know when those times are, so for me, it, it's a chance. Uh, I think we want economic here, because that we need economic, inf not influence, economic, administrative, or innovative to reform, right? Yeah, economic, innovative, or administrative. Innovative is okay. Administrative is pretty good. Uh, but economic, I mean, you've got the monthly autonomy change. You've got the land maintenance modifier. Um, and the tax modifier. And the inflation reduction, which is also good. So we're going for economic. We also want religious. But that's going to be a little while. Okay, so we want more production out of this. So let's go ahead and just up this. Because this increases how much money we get from them. So up to nine. We can't do any more even if we wanted to. But I believe that puts us Right at the amount, right? Goods produced. Where was it? With a base production below 10, there's no risk of the gold mine depleting. So 9 is where we want it at. Because I know you, you can deplete gold mines if you increase production too high. So, below 10. So, sitting at 9. Uh, yeah, recall from Haishi. It gives us just a little bit more money. Not a lot, but enough that it's worthwhile to pick it up. Yarkin no longer considers us a rival. Probably no longer a valid rival. Yeah, it's like they just got owned. Revoke the embargo. Our only valid rival right now are the Ming. And that's something. Still wants to incorporate calm. It's just, I'm not seeing it. I'm just not seeing it. We will improve relations, though. Try and make them like us a little bit more. Yarkin. Fabricate. Because we can. Chagatai has definitely made a solid comeback. For what it's worth. You know, it says Ming's our only valid rival, but we really don't stand a chance against them. Like, legitimately, we don't stand a chance against Ming. They're too strong. Fortune Separatists. Well, we can't allow that. That is just unacceptable. Take our general... Over here, wow, that's a lot of separatism. There you go. We're going to wipe both of them out, back to back, no problem. Just jump in, help us out. Or don't, I guess. That's cool, too. Bam. Alright, I uh, enforced serfdom, obviously. We're not going to... Go out and lose stuff here. That's going to be bad. Karinga. All right. Stetson. Jadam. Cut army maintenance in half. And... Ulasti. Uliasti. All right. Come back from calm. You did what you had to do. 
No royal marriage. Why is that? Disloyal attitude. Fair enough. Chagatai, don't care. Uzbek, improve relations. Because we can. Well, oh nice, they're converting to Confucianism. Oh, that's interesting. You know, where's our karma at? Negative 74. Yeah, I think we're going to rule in favor of the Horde unity. Thank you. I appreciate that event. That is very useful for us. We really needed that Horde unity. All right. Barguzin. Even though we upped your production, it just doesn't matter that much as far as our national economy is concerned. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. Oh, my goodness. That's hot. Oh, crap. That was hot. It is, of course, winter right now, and I have what is actually supposed to be like a cat warmer. You just throw it in the microwave, and it gets all nice and warm. Um, not supposed to touch your bare skin. It's supposed to be through cloth or something. It touched my bare skin, needless to say. That was bad. Ah. Fine. We'll pay the human sacrifice. Don't want to, but gets us karma, and that gets us closer to the right path. <sighs> Boy, our power projection is just plummeting because there's so many things that are temporary. My goodness. That's okay. It's fine. At least our prestige is not plummeting. And it's one per year, but it, it could be worse. Our power projection certainly helps on that end. Alright, we can... Whoop, gosh dang it, I keep clicking the wrong button. Or pressing the wrong button. Fabricate on Portland. I'm going for F1 and I keep hitting escape. Why are you upset all of a sudden? Dang it. Fine. At least we have money. Recall from the Uzbeks. Bengal doesn't even know we exist. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Who needs your ally? Khmer and Long Zhang. Yeah, they're down there somewhere. Don't care. Uh, oh boy. So, state help, state help will help conclude this matter without diverting local funds. Process can be speeded up, can be sped up, is what it should say, by decreasing local autonomy. In Stetson. That's rough. Left their own devices. Authorities will have to divert part of the local income to catch the bandits. The process can be sped up by decreasing local autonomy. Fine. I'm sure we'll catch them eventually. Alright, let's go convert our capital. Why is our capital not converted? That's kind of weird. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, rule in favor of the Horde unity. Absolutely. Curious. If we go to here, can this deplete? No. I don't think any of these can actually complete. Eh, deplete. With the exception of gold, which specifically says it. Right. Beaver? Huh. Salt. Interesting. Well, if we go into Yarkand, we can take a second gold mine. Now, it's like all we'd want to take is that gold mine. Obviously, we'd have to take 
uh, Corla as well, but I'm, I'm feeling like another gold mine would be beneficial to this economy. Besides, we need some Horde Unity, right? <laughs> Alright, we have a National Tax Modifier we can jump on, but we're going to need to core some stuff, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. Declare a show superiority war. Go for their capital of Kukwa. Make hay while the sun shines. Very nice. Bam. Sure, rely on the tribes. Get us that stability. Appreciate the stability. You have siege. You do have one siege. That's pretty cool. Honestly, these guys are so small, I would be very tempted to do a full annexation of them. The problem is, we can't really afford to do that. But it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Alright, go back to Jidim. Our work here is done. How's our inflation? Inflation's good! And they are Sunni. Interesting. Okay. I was gonna, I was thinking like maybe we should enforce religion here. There's Sunni. I don't know if we can. It's a tough ask. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Haishi. Thank you. I appreciate you taking care of that. All right. Conversion is done. Let's convert Chata next. All right, one last to go. Ordos, no, we're not attacking the Ming. Thank you very much. We're not attacking the Ming. That was weird, occupied by Korch and Separatists. That was a little odd. We want to take as little as possible here because if we take too much, we start losing Horde Unity even faster, and that causes even more problems than we need right now. We really don't need more problems. Ah, eh, whatever. How you doing, Ming? 50,000 men, 19,000 manpower. They're looking to maybe start a war soon. It's not bode well for us. Okay, I want both of those provinces. Pretty easy. I could vassalize them. That would be interesting. I could vassalize them. Gonna take war reparations, all your money. Yeah, I'll go for a vassalization. I'm okay with that. But I want you to hold on. So Chagatai and Multan both have a whole bunch of your cores. You know, if we take their land for us, then raise it, then give it back, it should work just fine. Uh, give up your claims in my country, please. Give up your claims in the Uzbeks as well. Make the Uzbeks like us a little bit more. Okay, well, I think we're good. I think this is probably what we want to have happen. Alright. 
Increase autonomy. Increase autonomy. Raise to the ground. And raise to the ground. And then... Core. And yeah, you can come back. All right. And go and get national tax modifier, because why not? All right, we officially have Yarkand. Great. So why can't we do anything here? It's not a core, so we can't improve production. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, enforcing religion, because they're not the same religious group, kind of makes sense we can't do that. Huh. All vassals' relative power is actually kind of dangerous right now. Like, it's legitimately a problem. So all of them are disloyal. If I do this, does that fix a problem? Not really, no. Makes us cost more money. So our vassals are a little unruly. We're going to have to do something about that later. Ay, ay, ay. Um... Give this to the tribes. This one specifically. Make the tribes happier. How are the tribes? 87% loyalty, 59% influence. Sure, we'll pay. We need our admin tech right now. All right, uh, let's convert on and goal. What? Oh, they're... I don't actually care that much about Pretender Rebels and High Shi. Like, that doesn't really matter. It does not really matter. Ugh. You're gonna... I mean, that was kind of a given, Haishi. Is your leader even any good? 420, but no air. It's not terrible. Alright. Spend Diplo Power. Because... It's... Huh. Base tax and manpower combined. Fair enough! Manpower, 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 recall, build cost reduction, I'm good with that. I just want extra gold, man. There we go. Obviously that adds a lot of development, but it's fine. Ming declared war on Yedin. Well, that's wonderful. Form alliance with Bengal. Why would I care about Bengal? They're all broken up. Yay, we're actually making money again. Thank goodness. Well... We're going to need to go in on Yen and too. We kind of have to follow Ming's moves here. We have to go in on Yen. And... There. You guys will have a little conflict. All will be well. See? You can kill them all yourself, Haishi. It's easy. Alright, so tribal feud. 
for Hulu Buir. We'll, of course, start next episode, guys. So, if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe, and share. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. DFTBA.